Um, the TOK essay starts with a real life situation, and from the real life situation in the real world, which is up here, as opposed to the TOK world, which we all know is unreal, we're going to take from a real life situation, we're going to extract a KI into a into a down to a knowledge issue. So this is criteria A on your, your marking. It should be easy money if you do this well. You take a real life and you outline briefly what it is to the audience. You go through your thinking that you use to come up with your knowledge issue. So for example, I might I read an article last night about a survey, this is human sciences, a survey that was taken, Singapore is the unhappiest place in the world or the most discontented people in the world. And they asked, they did a survey and they asked a number of questions. Like, did you smile yesterday? Do you look forward to the future? Is the future positive or not? Um, they asked a series of questions along those lines. So from that, I will extract a KI that might be something along the lines of um, how, uh, uh, how reliable is evidence in the human sciences, okay? Um, to do that whole thing, you've got 20 minutes for the whole presentation. To do what I've just done, you should figure on one to one and a half minutes um, to extract your KI. Your KI should start with a specific real situation and it should become decontextualized. Meaning it isn't just applying to this situation, it can be applied to a number of situations. So I started with a survey in Singapore, and I've now taken it to um, how valuable is evidence, and how reliable is evidence in the human sciences. So it becomes applicable to all human sciences, not just this, decontextualized. All right, that's the first minute and a half, roughly. From there, you move to um, have a series of developments in your essay. In those developments, and let's just, those are claims or ideas about your knowledge issue. All right, and they go off this way in the development phase, which is along here. If you've got 20 minutes for this, You've got about a minute and a half here. About, if you do three or four of these developments, you'd probably take four to five minutes for each one. And that, that keep you on time with your presentation. Each one of these developments is an idea, a claim, an exploration of some aspect of your knowledge issue. In this one, for example, uh, evidence in the human sciences. I might look at um, how do the human scientists gather evidence in this development up here. In this one here, I might look at um, uh, what are the limitations of the evidence that a human scientist gathers. And here, I might look at what, what's the best sort of evidence in the human sciences, okay? For each one of these, and you could you probably know more than four developments in your presentation. Otherwise, see that's 12 to 15 minutes, a minute and a half, and your last bit will be here, which I'll get to in a minute. These developments, in the process of looking at the limitations of evidence, and how social human scientists gather evidence, and what makes for the best evidence in uh, human sciences. Um, each one of those 
has a little structure to it, like your essay. Now, if you've been doing the TOK essay structure, you will see there's a claim, which is explained, which has support or example or evidence to prove it. Sometimes you'll have a counterclaim and you link it back to the KI. Now that's the way we've asked you to do your paragraphs or sections of your essay. So just look at this as areas or sections of an essay with the same format within that development. Is that all clear? Going well? All right. Um, and from these developments, I then draw a conclusion, which is over here. After my 12 to 15 minutes, I come up with a conclusion that, yes, human sciences can gather evidence, although there is limitations, but maybe the best evidence is that where we use other ways of knowing as well, where we use three or four pieces of evidence, that we don't just do a survey, that maybe we use uh, an observation using our perception, that maybe we do a statistical analysis, uh, which brings in maths. Um, that we draw in other ways of knowing and areas of knowledge that will help us come up with evidence from three or four different angles. All right, we call it triangulation in the social sciences. So you gather three or four different ways of looking at something, and if they all agree, that makes it more reliable, but still not completely reliable. That's my conclusion. Okay, at that stage, I'll take the conclusion back into the real world here, and I'll apply that conclusion to the real life situation. And another real life situation, if I have time, or even a third, if I have time. So I take my conclusion, and I bring it back to that survey, and I say, that survey isn't really that reliable because it only involved one source of information, an interview, which can contain a number of flaws, although it does give us a starting point. It gives us something to look at. So I reply it back here. Then I find another real life situation where it might apply to. Um, did you study the Milligan experiment or the Stanford experiment? How valid, how reliable is that information based on your conclusion? All right? That, and then you could say that it's reliable or not or to what degree. So you've got developments. These are going to cover criteria C and D, which is, um, this is involvement. Criteria C is involvement with your, no, understanding of your KI. Criteria D is your involvement. And that's where you make sure that you use some personal <coughs> examples, just like in your essay. Okay, Philippe? Um, now, in the development, we see that uh, it always starts with a claim, and at the end we have a counterclaim. Yep. Uh, is it possible, if the counterclaim is well developed enough, that it would form its, whole, its own point in Carolina? Okay, I think at the time, I said, you may have a counterclaim. In this one, it actually, I think that's what you're saying, it's inbuilt, isn't it? You've got, uh, how, is, how are human sciences reliable? And then you've also down here, you're addressing the limitations. Does that answer your question? So like in this situation, the counterclaim has formed its own point. Yeah. So does that mean that the first four to five minutes with the uh, human sciences being reliable does not have its own counterclaim? 
that you've said it's reliable. Yes. You all right? You could put that here. Yes. Yes. And make this a whole new development. And I won't go off on that tangent, but that's that would be a bell. I'd say this would become a little longer. But I think there's enough limitations in the human sciences that you could make a whole new development. Your call. But you know, we've talked about it. You can see how it goes. True survey, by the way. <laughs>